Moving on, author Salman Rushdie says that he still has nightmares even months after the attack on his life in New York. In his first interview since the attack in August last year, Rushdie says he struggles with his writing, though he's grateful that he is still alive. Rushdie's interview to David Remnick of the New York was published on Monday. He says that considering what happened, I'm not so bad. The author went on to describe that he has a feeling in his thumb and index finger and in the bottom half of his palm. He says he's undergoing a lot of hand therapy at the moment. The interview came out on the eve of the publication of Rushdie's new book, Victory City. He completed the book a month before he was attacked. Rushdie had been silent for months on social media, but now puts out the occasional tweet. He noted in his interview that sales of his book had increased after the stabbing, saying it seemed that he became more popular when in danger. 75-year-old Salman Rushdie had lived in hiding for years. Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei issued a fatwa against him in 1989. Rushdie was accused of blasphemy in his novel Satnik Verses. However, he had long been moving about freely with minimal security and did not feel any sense of risk until last August. In August 2022, Rushdie was stabbed when on stage at a non-profit education and retreat center in New York. His assailant was a young man dressed in black. Hadi Mathir pleaded not guilty to charges of assault and murder. Rushdie says he feels no anger towards his attacker.